attention Shh. for grown women only. Mark your calendars, lady. Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. The Secret Money in Your Womb, Part 4. We're going to be talking about the treasure trove embodiment. We as divine feminine women, we're able to magnetize resources for our lives and those that are within our magnetic field using our irresistible divine feminine essence. Y'all know I'm getting ready to drop the jewels, ladies. You don't want to miss it. And we're going to have a very yummy dress code. And for the brothers, for that lovely lady in your life, make sure she's there. Even though it's for women only, you can sponsor the lovely lady in your life. You'll thank me later. Go to unpurposewithvicky.com. That's unpurposewithvicky.com. The link is below. I can't wait to see you there. Somebody asked me one time that, uh, you know, you have these great ideas and you have these great, you know, projects that you're proposing for African people to do in collaboration. I mean, those on the in the diaspora and those on the continent. But then he told me, um, have you reached out to, you know, some of the successful black people? Because they have the uh, financial resources, but they are not aware of these kinds of initiatives. Some of them are not aware about the pan-African movement. And I told him that even if they wanted to, you know, um, uh, fund entire projects that we are, you know, proposing as a tool, as a gateway into collaborative, you know, economic action. Even if they wanted to, they cannot take any step towards, you know, making solid financial contributions to any projects. Why? Because every successful black person, especially in the Americas, is on a leash. You know, so if, if, uh, if, if Michael Jordan wanted to do anything, he cannot do that because the system has him positioned well and on a leash he's actually muzzled not just him but every more than 95 percent of every black successful person you know that is in the americas is muzzled why because there have been very many incidents of you know the system the system of oppression projecting a subconscious message into the minds of black people that anytime we want to get rid of you we know how we can do it I don't have to tell you about how Michael Jackson was. You, you know, he was taken out. I don't have to tell you what happened to uh, Bill Cosby. I don't have to tell you what happened to R. Kelly. So any black person that, you know, lifts his head above the water is quickly amputated because they know that as long as African people are, are empowered economically, there is no space for oppression. Do you understand? So I say that to say that... Uh, now is the time that you that you know our people in the diaspora begin building foundations for their wealth for the generational wealth outside of the uh, land of oppression because right where you are be you in america be you in the caribbeans your money is where they have control over it i have had several cases of people you know people trying to invest outside of america well african americans africans in america trying to invest their monies outside well, significant amounts of money, you know, outside the U.S. And after one or two transactions, their accounts were frozen. So, you know, when I had these cases coming from different people, I actually spoke to some of them, actually, and I have a personal experience with many of those people, more than four of them. And so I realized, oh, they're trying to keep your money right in the United States where they have systematic control over it. In case you misbehave, in case you become, you know, um, exceedingly prosperous, exceedingly successful for a black person, then they can do something about your money. Then they can cook up allegations and this and that. And next thing you know, they have frozen your money and they have put you in prison. So I'm telling people that now is the time that you start deliberately intending to start building your wealth, building your businesses, you know, establishing your entrepreneurial project outside of this land of oppression. Because in America, in the Caribbean, they have control over your money. But over here, this, you know, there is different ways to navigate this system. So that is to respond to the numerous uh, you know, emails that I was receiving about why don't you speak to these successful athletes, these successful musicians, these successful models, and these successful entertainers. I told them even if they wanted to, 
if they did anything in that line, believe you me, allegations will crop up from nowhere. And next thing you know, they're in court. And next thing you know, they have been separated from their families, be it men and women. Next thing you know, they are in prison. And there is a track record of that. Actually, the way that they used to project this message way, way back in the day, during the times of the lynchings, is they would find a so-called slave that was not behaving or that was uncontrollable, unruly, and they would lynch them before the rest of the people, just as a constant reminder that this is what can happen to you if you decide to move out of line. And now the modern day lynching is, you know, imprisonment with, you know, with fraudulent and deceptive charges that don't even exist. So the solution to that is for you people, whether you be in Europe or uh, the Caribbean or the Middle East or Australia, Canada, especially the, Am the Americas, um, because that is a target group, that is a very peculiar group of, of people, start building your wealth in Africa. The more numbers we have, the restraint in numbers. So we have to exploit that reality to our benefit. That is the only way that you can have, you know, that you can lay a foundation because over in the continent, you and we on the continent, you brethren in the diaspora and we on the continent, we, on the continent, we are the majority. I'm telling you. And even they are beginning to, to feel the spirit of Pan-Africanism rising. I'm telling you, that is why they are quickly rushing to give hundreds of billions of dollars to African leaders, you know, for land and for different projects. That is why I'm telling people to invest here. Otherwise, invest in land, invest in land, invest in land. Otherwise, by the time you, you know, decide to come home, the Chinese, Europeans and these Caucasian American corporations will have taken everything in the land. And once you don't have the land, you have nothing. You have nothing. So I hope I responded um, uh, comprehensively. And I would like to take this opportunity to remind us of the October African Diaspora Investment and Community Expo 2022 in Kampala, Uganda. It is the first edition of what is going to be an annual meeting where we are open up the, the continent to diasporans. The first edition will be, well, the first few editions will be in Uganda, and then we shall start moving them to different African countries. We are going to be having different African leaders and leaders of other industries from other African nations in attendance. Then we are, we are inviting the diasporans to come and be part and look, you know, listen, hear about the investment opportunities from the mouth of the government. In Uganda, at least, there is land that is being given away by the government to any financial, you know, any investor, a person, a group of people that have the financial resources to develop the land. And then you, you can scale, you know, the return on investment and how, you, you know, it can be mutually um, split between the investor and the government that has provided the land. So it is a wonderful opportunity for you guys to, you know, to know the truth about the motherland, about the land of your ancestors, the land of our ancestors, you know, as opposed to what we have been told. So please, please start saving up the money for your ticket, for your accommodation, for your registration. This is going to be a momentous experience, a momentous uh, meeting, you know, especially to some of you that have never been out of the continent and you've had different things about Africa that 99.9% .9 of them are not even true, but it's just propaganda to keep us fearful of each other so please make plans to attend and we will see you then we are still you know rolling out the materials the websites the graphics for the uh, event and uh, we shall be updating you as time goes on the ministry of health the uganda investment authority and the uganda tourism board are all key stakeholders which we are talking to and uh, we are actually developing the paperwork for you know a, a very um mutually beneficial arrangement so please make plans to attend and i know that it is going to be an experience of a lifetime till next time this is douglas majorca from kampala uganda god bless you